Hi, everyone. This is Leslie Suzette and Sprongly Natural here with some more great content. I'm so excited. We've been on this Middle Eastern kick, right? And so we're just going to keep flowing in that vein. And today we're going to talk about some sweet picks of Middle Eastern fragrances. So I'll see you when we get back. Hey, welcome back. Leslie Souza, all things beauty, all things fragrance, all things self-care. I have one goal in mind, everyone, and that is to inspire as many of you as I can to be your most best and most beautiful selves, both inside and out. Well, today, you all, we're talking some sweet pics of Middle Eastern fragrances on my shelf. Now, I have a sweet, sweet one coming your way, but I am going to review that one all by itself. So be looking for that one. Also, I've got an announcement to make at the end of this uh, content, and I hope that you will join me on that surprise. So let's get started. We're talking Middle Eastern sweet picks, fragrances that I have on my shelf that are number one, Middle Eastern, and in my opinion, number two, pretty sweet when I wear them. I really like the smell, gives me almost that gourmand feel on some, but then others, it just gives me that beautiful, fragrant smell when I walk into a room. And so we're going to go over these real quick because I have a good bit of them, and I want you to go ahead and grab you a snack because I'm going to go over about eight of them, um, but I'm going to go quick, okay? So my first one, my first sweet pick for the day is none other than French Coffee by Al Rehab. French Coffee by Al Rehab. Now, this may look familiar, okay? Because really, there's a bigger bottle of this French Coffee that's in a brownish uh, bottle, but I decided to get the smaller bottle. This one may look like Choco Musk to you. Well, this one is not. I do have Choco Musk, and I left that one off purposely so that I can talk about this one because I haven't talked about this one yet. This one, this French coffee, has notes, of course, of coffee, chocolate, milk, musk, and vanilla. And when I say it's a sweet treat, when I say it smells just like French coffee, it's like you have your Keurig uh, or your Ninja going with the coffee brewing, and this is what you're wearing. And this one is so delightful, so sweet. It gives off that coffee and chocolate smell, that milky fragrance, and it's just so gourmand and so yummy. I love this one, French Coffee by Al Rehab. So this next fragrance, I think, is not only sweet, but perfect for the summer weather. And I did a short on this one. It's by F.A. Paris, and it's called, yes, Divin Asylum. First of all, look at this beautiful bottle. It is gorgeous. It's got Divin Asylum on the side. It's got that jewel that looks familiar because this one is supposed to be a clone of Rosia Dove's Elysium. You all, when I say it's a very good clone, it's a very good clone, giving you top notes of grapefruit. It's got bergamot, lemon, galbanum, and lime at the top. So refreshing. In the middle are the heart notes, give you lily of the valley, rose, vetiver, pink pepper, black currant, jasmine, and cedar. And then it's rounding out at the base and dry down with vanilla, incense, leather, and amber. You all, this is perfectly unisex and I just love it. I can wear this in the dead summer, dead heat of summer, wear it, get refreshed, walk around, walk into a room, go to brunch with it, wear it dressed up or dressed down, but mostly dressed down for me because it's just that cooling, grapefruit, fresh citrus smell that's going to last four hours. Again, this is the Vena Asylum by F.A. Paris. Now, this next sweet pick, the Middle Eastern fragrance, is a perfume oil. I've had it, but I've not reviewed it with you all. You all probably know this one very well. It is so absolutely beautiful, sweet. When I say sweet, it reminds me of Starburst, uh, 
uh, you know, Skittles. It's just giving off that fruity, fruity vibe when you wear it. I love it for the summer, but it's also good for the fall. You can wear it dressed down. And if you're feeling a little, you know, cute, you can wear it dressed up too. It is just a beautiful beautiful fragrance oil. And it is none other than you all. Look how beautiful that is. Harim Al Sutton Gold Podlage. This is so beautiful. First of all, I'm going to quickly let you look at this bottle. It stands perfectly on four prongs, but look at it. Doesn't it look like a beautiful off the shoulder gown? Look at this. With a beautiful beautiful jewelry at the neckline, the V of your neck. This is absolutely gorgeous, but the smell is just as sweet as it can be. And I've told you, dress it up, dress it down. I put a little bit on and you all, what um, I thought about uh, wearing this and layering this with my, I think it's called Happy Easter. I don't know if you all remember that one from Bath and Body Works. But you all, this would go perfectly with my Happy Easter. It gives off that jelly bean smell. And I don't know if you've ever had a Starburst jelly bean. Yum, yum, yum. This one has notes of peony, jasmine, bergamot, heart notes of peach, pineapple, and plum. And it rounds out at the base with musk, patchouli, and sandalwood. Again, sweet, juicy, smells like jelly beans, Starburst, Skittles, you name it. Harim Al Sultan Gold by Collage. Our Collage by Harim Al Sultan Gold. Not sure which one, but it's amazing. Now, this next sweet pick is giving that musky, but still that sweet, juicy, uh, floral vibe. And it is by Fragrance World, and it's Intro Ivory Musk. You all, this one, first of all, beautiful bottle. And it does remind you of something. What does it remind you of? Yeah, it's that uh, Must Therapy. It's a clone of Must Therapy by, um, oh my gosh, is that called? Um, oh, I can't remember. But it is a niche fragrance. Um, and it's called Must Therapy by Inicio. I got it. I had to think about it. You all, this one is a beautiful, beautiful spring and summer fragrance that has notes of bergamot. It has notes in the heart or the mid notes of mandarin and magnolia. And in the base notes, it's giving that musk and black currant. And I love that black currant in the dry down because it's fruity and it's just sweet. And I absolutely love it mixed with that musk in the base. And it is just a beautiful spring, summer, dress up, dress down fragrance that lasts for hours. I get at least eight hours from this beautiful beautiful fragrance. Again, that's Intro Ivory Musk by Fragrance World. Now, I could not talk about sweet picks from Middle Eastern fragrances and not talk about this one. This one is always, right now, I'm going to say always, will be, I'm, I'm, I just feel it in my bones, will always be in my top 10 uh, Middle Eastern fragrance list for as long as I try Middle Eastern fragrances because it's just gourmand, it's sweet, it's just yummy. I love it mostly in the fall and winter. I wear it in the spring, but I cannot wear this in the summer. But I just had to pick this one because it's the best sweet fragrance that I have in my Middle Eastern collection. And that is none other than Latafa's Kamra. Look at the dent, look at the dent, look at the dent. Now, this was said, because look at the bottle, to be a clone of Angel Share by Killian. But I, if you go back and watch my videos, when I talk about Kamra, I let you know off the rip that this to me is a standalone. This is not a clone. If it was meant to be, then okay. But it, it is just in a class all by itself with the top notes of cinnamon, nutmeg, and bergamot. It's got middle notes of date, praline, mahonio, and tuberose, and you get every bit of that. And then it rounds itself out in the base with the dry down of roasted tonka bean, vanilla, oh, you are, amber wood, benzoin. Um, it's got akigala wood or akigala wood and myrrh. And when I say this one is a heavy hitter, sweet, and because of the myrrh and all of those kind of incense fragrances in the base, this one is definitely a fall, winter winner. 
But you all, when I say gourmand and sweet and just giving off the perfect vibe, I usually layer this with my pumpkin pecan waffles, just like I layer pumpkin pecan waffles with angel share. But really, to tell you the truth, it doesn't need a layering combo, but it really does just set it off and it lasts for hours. It already on its own lasts for about nine hours on my skin. But when I put it with that pumpkin pecan waffles, I get about 10. You all sweet. Just yummy and gourmand. That's Kamra by Latafa. Now, this one, I laugh every time I say the name of this one. Uh, this one uh, is another sweet pick. Um, I don't think I've ever uh, highlighted this one, but it is a very good clone to Barack Baccarat Rouge 540. It is a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. And the name of this one is Baroque Rouge 540. Yes, I said it. Baroque Rouge 540. Yeah, that sounds a little cheesy. Sounds a little Baroque. <laughs> but it's a good, good clone. It's by, yes, Mason Alhambra. And you all, there have been so many clones of Baccarat Rouge 540 until I couldn't even remember the name. But yes, this one, Baroque Rouge 540, has, again, top notes of saffron, pear, mandarin, orange, mid notes of jasmine, ylang-ylang, uh, lily of the valley, and base notes of cashmere wood, uh, amber, and musk. It's that perfect amber fragrance that's got that hint of saffron, a little bit of fruit, jasmine. You all know what makes a good Baccarat Rouge 540 clone. It's in there. It's in there. This one, I must wear before I wear my Baccarat Rouge 540 because you all know Baccarat is a little hefty in the price range. So why? I mean, I mean, I love Baccarat Rouge 540, you all. But you got to have that bottle that you can just spray, spray, spray when you want. And this one is it. But it's so good. It smells great. And I love it. And it's my one of my sweet picks for Middle Eastern fragrances. And that Baccarat mm -mm, Baroque Rouge 540 by Mason Alhambra. Okay, you all. I had too much fun with that last one. But we're going to keep going. We're going to have some fun with this one. This one is definitely a sweet pick. When you look at the bottle, you know it's sweet. It's beautiful. It's fluffy. It's just yummy. Um, there are three of these, but I'm picking the pink one. And that's Yara by Latafa. I'm going to call this Yara Pink by Latafa. You all, this one has notes of tangerine, heliotrope, oh man, orchid in the top. And the mid, mid notes, you're getting those garmon notes and those tropical notes. And then at the base, you're getting that musk, that sandalwood, and that vanilla that makes for just a fruity, gourmand, sweet, and creamy fragrance. What I love about the Yara Pink is its creaminess. Yeah, I love the fruit. I love the tropical. But what I'm loving is how creamy this is, how it settles on the skin so beautifully. And that's why people love it so much because it just gives off that when you walk into a room, yeah, you're gourmand, but you're also sexy and just young. It's a youthful, creamy fragrance that just can stand the test of time, in my opinion. And I absolutely love Yara Pink by Latafa. Sweet pick, sweet pick, sweet picks. We cannot end without this final sweet Middle Eastern pick. When I say that this is a sweet, the longest lasting fragrance on my shelf, I, hands down, hands down, this perfumer got it right. I'm loving this. I've had it on my shelf for a while. And I try to savor it because it's so long lasting, so nice, and yet sweet. This one is a great clone of Herba Pura or Kirke. Yes, by Tiziana Terenzi. This one is just a beautiful for fragrance, beautiful fragrance. And it's by Al Haramain, Haramain Amber Oud. You all, Haramain Amber Oud has notes of bergamot and green notes at the top. When you get in the middle, you're getting that luscious melon, gourmand notes, amber, and pineapple. When you when I say juicy in the mid, 
juicy. And then it's going to uh, round out and dry down to a beautiful musk, vanilla, vanilla, and woody notes. When I say this thing, and I, I got a small dent in this one, this one lasts me 12 hours. No kidding. It lasts so long that if I do spray my clothes, I'm going to have to wash my clothes a couple of times just to get the scent out. It's just that good. And it is beautiful. When they say Herba Pura like and Kirke like by Tiziana Terenzi, they are not kidding. This one, I'm telling you, is worth the money and then some. I wear this when I want to dress up. Yeah, I can dress this down, but when I'm in the gourmand dress up mood, and I'm when I say dress up, it could be a date night, it could be a gala. Um, I'm wearing this in the evening because it's it's really the projection is really strong. It's yummy, gourmand, sweet, but it's also giving off that sexy vibe to no end. You all, this is Haramain Amber Old Good Amber Oud Gold Edition. Let me say that again. Haramain Amber Oud Gold Edition by Al Haramain. Hey, thanks so much for joining this channel today. I hope that you got value. You know, I can't leave though without some words of inspiration. You all, I just wanted to remind you of one thing. You have a treasure in you. The Bible declares that we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency might be of God and not of us. Just when you feel like you want to throw in the towel, that you want to give up, you have to remember, in fact, I'm here to remind you that you have a treasure in you. You are valuable. You are loved. You are cherished. And you can do this. If you can just remember that God values you and that he has put a treasure in you, then you can keep it going. Don't forget, you are valuable. You are loved. You've got this. Don't throw in the towel. Don't do it. Don't do it. Keep moving forward. You've got this. Uh, sometimes life gets tough. Sometimes life get hard, gets hard. But you know what? Because we have that treasure in us, we can keep it going. So let me encourage you to not give up. Keep the faith and keep trusting God. Well, that's my inspiration for today. I'm Leslie Suzette, all things beauty, all things fragrance, all things self-care. You all know I only have one goal in mind, and that is to inspire as many of you as I can to be your most best and most beautiful selves, both inside and out. I've got one little small announcement for you. We're going live. Yes, we are going live in August. August, we're going live. So stay tuned, keep watching, because I'm going to put that flyer out on my community page so that you know when Leslie Suzette Live will be out. We're going to need you to come on. We're going to need you to shout out. We're going to need you to ask questions. We're going to need you to participate and be a part of the best and beautiful community. I'm counting on you. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. I am so grateful. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers. I'm hoping that by the time we do this live, we can go ahead and have a live celebration for 1,000 subscribers. I hope that we can do it, you all. Go ahead and share this content and this page uh, and this channel with as many people as you can. Hit the like button. That really helps the algorithm and helps this channel. And hey, what are you waiting on? Don't forget to hit that uh, notification bell. That way you'll know when Leslie Suzette is out with some great content. Well, thanks so much. And until next time, I'll see you then.